I'll classify this one as a 700 plus level GMAT question. It's a question which is intense on analysis, looking at what if scenarios, possibilities, and then coming up with an answer. We need to find out the median salary for the employees of a company. Let's quickly read the information given to us. In a company, 58% of its employees earn lesser than $50,000. 66% of its employees earn more than $40,000. 17% earn $45,000, 3% earn $48,000. Obviously, what we need to find out is the salary of the person who is earning the 50th percentile salary. Median salary for a large population is the 50th percentile salary. What we're going to be doing is, let's plot this information in a schematic so that we're able to see the data a lot better than the way it is written. Let's get started. 58% of its employees are earning less than $50,000 which means that 58th percentile salary is $50,000. What is percentile? When I say I've scored a 95th percentile in the GMAT, that means that 95% of the people who have taken the GMAT have a score that is lesser than mine. So if 58% of the employees earn less than $50,000, $50,000 salary is going to be the 58th percentile salary. Now let's move on to the second data point given to us. Say 66% earn more than $40,000. This is 50,000, so let's plot 40,000 to the left of it. 40,000, how much, what percentage of the employees are earning more than 40,000? 66% of the employees are earning more than 40,000. Of the 100%, we know what these 66% are doing. So what will be left? We are left with another 34% of the employees. So if 66% are more than 40,000, up to 40,000, we'll have the remaining 34% of the employees. Essentially, again, boils down to the fact that the 34th percentile salary is $40,000. 58th percentile is $50,000. 34th percentile is $40,000. What we need to find out is the 50th percentile salary. Obviously, that's num that number is going to be between 34 and 58. In terms of salary, that value is going to be between 40K and 50K. Before we find out what it is or before we make any unwarranted assumption, let's just do one thing. Let's find out what percent of the employees are in between this 40 and 50,000. 58th percentile is 50,000. 34th percentile is 40,000. So the intervening interval, 40 to 50,000, we have 24% of the employees. One very important thing, don't say that between 40,000 and 50,000, there are 24% of the employees. They're equally distributed and therefore 10 divided by 24 into 16 because 34 plus 16 will give you the 50th percentile and don't come up with an answer saying that 46.66, 46,600. That would be incorrect because this question does not tell us that the income distribution is uniform. In fact, if anything, it is not uniform. 17% of the employees are earning one single value. So you can't make this assumption. Just watch out for that little thing. There will definitely be an answer choice which will say 46,666. So don't fall for that trap. Let's plot the remaining two information. We know that the intervening gap has 24% employees. Let's plug in how many earn 45K. 17% earn 45K. 3% of them earn 48K. Now, in the 40 to 40, 50K interval, we know there are 24% employees. We have exact numbers for 17 plus 3. 17 are earning 45K, 3 are earning 48K. So we have exact data for 17 plus 3 or 20% of the employees. We know in this interval there are 24%. We have data for 20. So we do not have data for the remaining 4%. Where all could their salaries be? Their salaries could be anything between 40 and 45. Let's say X percent are here in this 40 to 45. Between 45 and 48, there could be some. Let's say there are Y percent there. And between 48 and 50, there could be some, let's say there are Z percent of the people there. So this unknown 4% could get divided in these three intervals in any way. We do not know what it is. It could be 1 plus 1 plus 2. It could be 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 1.6. All that we can infer right now is this X plus Y plus Z equals 4%. How low can any of these values be? They can be as low as 0. How high can any of these values be? They can be as high as 4 and it can take any value between 0 and 4, right? including 0 and 4. So this is the inference we have drawn. What we need to know is, how is this x plus y plus z divided? But more importantly, what we need to know is, if the distribution of this x, y, z, is it 1, 1, 2, is it 1.5, 1.51, however it is distributed, is it going to make a difference to the median salary? Will the median salary be the same irrespective of what values we assign for x plus y plus z as long as they add up to 4 or will it make a difference? That's a key question. Let's find that out. We're going to be doing it with a what-if scenario. Let's look at possibilities. First, we'll look at all 4% of them, this value of x. We said x plus y plus z is equal to 
four percent. I'll look at one extreme case. Let's put all four between forty and forty-five k. No one is earning forty. No one is earning forty-five in this four percent. It will be a number greater than forty but less than forty-five. Let's find out what happens. The starting point is thirty-fourth percentile salary is forty thousand. That is given. That is not going to be affected by these four percent. The next set of people are the ones whose salary lies between forty and forty-five k. How many are there? Four percent. So we can infer that from the thirty-fourth to the thirty-eighth percentile, the salary range is going to be forty k to forty-five k. We are still only at the thirty-eighth percentile. We need the salary of the fiftieth percentile. So we need to go to the next salary interval, higher income group than this. How many people are there? Seventeen percent. What is that next interval? That is forty-five k. We were left at thirty-eight percentile at the end of this point. We have another seventeen percent of the people in this salary interval. So from the thirty-eighth all the way up to thirty-eight plus seventeen is a fifty-five, fifty-fifth percentile. Everyone is earning one single number. That number is forty-five k. Here I'll rewrite it. This number salary is greater than forty but less than forty-five. The way I have written it's forty to forty-five k could include a forty-five. So I'm just making this correction. In this interval, thirty-four to thirty-eight. In this interval, people are earning greater than forty but less than forty-five, not including forty-five. Next higher number was seventeen percent, thirty-eighth to the fifty-fifth percentile. Everyone is earning that salary. So forty-five k salary is earned by seventeen percent. If thirty-eight to fifty-five, everyone is earning forty-five k, the fiftieth percentile salary obviously will have to be forty-five k. It's like saying students who have scored 38th rank to the 55th rank in my class have got 45 marks. How much did the student who scored the 50th rank score? He would have also got the same 45 marks. That's exactly what we are saying here. 38th to the 55th percentile, everyone is earning 45k. That's what is given here, which means 50th percentile or the median salary. If all four percent are here, in possibility one, the median salary is 45,000. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. We have put all four percent here. So thirty fourth to the thirty eighth percentile salary lies between forty and forty five k, excluding forty and forty five. We have come only up to thirty eighth percentile. So let's go to the next higher income, which is forty five k. Seventeen percent of the employees are there. So thirty eighth to the fifty fifth percentile, everyone is going to earn one single value, which is forty five k. If thirty eighth to the fifty fifth percentile is forty five k, the fiftieth percentile will have to be forty five k, and hence the median salary is forty five k. This is in possibility one. Now let's reduce this from four percent down to three two. You can do that, or you can go to the other extreme. Let's evaluate the other extreme. Let's put zero percent of the employees here. If it did not make a difference for four and zero, then it would not make a difference for any intervening number. So let's not waste time. Let's check out if it makes a difference for zero, and then look at if we have to iterate it further. Zero percent earn here. Our starting point obviously is thirty fourth percentile salary is forty k. There's no one in this interval because in this possibility we are looking at zero percent here. The next higher income is basically forty-five. How many are earning that? Seventeen percent. Where were we left last? We were left at thirty-four percent. So the thirty-fourth percentile to the thirty-four plus seventeen is fifty-one. Fifty-first percentile. Everyone in this company is going to be earning forty-five thousand. Thirty-four to fifty-one. If everyone earns forty-five k. The person who is earning the fiftieth percentile will also because thirty-four to fifty-one, fifty is a number in this interval. So fiftieth percentile salary has to be forty-five k. Therefore, the median salary in the second possibility also is forty-five k. We looked at both extremes. We looked at an extreme where all four percent were here. We looked at the second extreme where none of them are here. In either extreme, we found the median salary to be a forty-five k. So median salary for this company is forty-five thousand dollars. Quickly summarize possibility two in a printed form. We put zero percent here, which means the next higher income for us in identifying the because we are left at thirty fourth percentile till now. We need to go all the way up to fifty eighth percentile. So add seventeen percent of the employees who are earning forty five k, thirty fourth to the fifty first percentile. Everyone earns forty five k. Therefore, the person who is earning the fifty eighth percentile has to earn forty five k, and the median salary has to be forty five k. Either extremes if it's forty five k, the median salary for the set of employees is forty five thousand. It's a beautiful question. Hardly any calculation, but the way you depict the data and you look at this what if scenarios is what is important. That's what makes this question a 700 plus question. Check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to the channel. What's more, let's make scoring Q51 GMAT a reality. Sign up for the most comprehensive and affordable online GMAT quant course at gmat.vizaco.com. That's again gmat.vizaco.com.